Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. And the messages can also be vice versa. So what's going on with Leo? What's going on with... Okay, okay. You got your own energy here with the sun. Some of you are maybe having some kind of spiritual awakening or you're just feeling really positive at the moment when it comes to your life in general i'm starting with i'm starting with general messages about your life so it looks like you're in a good place at the moment when it comes to your life but let's see there may be a situation for some of you where you may have left someone out in the cold or you have I feel like this I feel like it's more of you deciding to move on from someone or deciding to leave a situation. <clears throat> Some of you just feel like you're done with unfair situations. You're ready to step out and take a leap, start a new life, a new love life or a new career, whatever it is. I'm seeing this newness here. Okay. Avoid overthinking. Okay, avoid avoid overthinking as in like don't let don't let your thoughts get to the point where you're stressed out or you're you know perceiving things as not not as they are. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, there could be a Leo, fellow Leo. But I'm seeing that you should definitely go towards a new start here and definitely stay busy and focus. You may have a lot coming up for you. I'm seeing that whatever you're going through, especially if you're going through financial um, issues, the best thing to do is to keep working, is to work hard. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing and I'm getting this vibe of working now and enjoying the holidays later. So it's almost like you're working really hard right now you're going to get to exhale when it comes to, you know, the end of December and it will really pay off and you'll really be happy and secure. What's the advice? Doing the right thing at all times here. There may, some of you may feel like there's a relationship you want to do over or start over with someone, but I only feel like that's if you have a really strong connection with this person. Um, could be a Gemini for some of you, but seeing that for some of you, you need to do the right thing and do over a situation if you feel it's right for you, okay? There may be a relationship that's worth working on for some. We have the... Okay, I see some of you are cu cutting off communication with someone. But there is someone that you are having some type of effortless connect connection with. So there's someone that you're cutting off maybe from the past who things didn't work out with. Maybe that situation was more unfair. And now I'm seeing you effortlessly connecting with someone. So you're getting over someone from the past here. And you may even cut off communication with that person fully to move on to this more stable connection that I'm seeing here. This one that's way more effortless and way more soulmate type type of connection. So there's Libra, Leo energy. There is, okay, we have the air signs. The air signs mostly, but what's going on with Leo when it comes to love? What are the love messages for Leo? Manipulation unfinished business so this could be the person that you're cutting off they may feel like there's unfinished business with you so they may be trying to get back with you but i see you cutting them off i see you being patient and waiting on divine timing because you know your worth here so these cards are speaking clearly you are knowing your worth so anything that this person is trying to do or however they try to come back to you i see you kind of cutting it off because you know that there's something better for you so let's see what we got here. 
We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Calling in your soulmates, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. So see what I mean? You're cutting someone off because they were manipulative. They were not for you and you are knowing your worth and you're calling in the right person. Some of you may have already met this person. Some of you are soon to meet them and have a lot of faith that it's going to happen. So let me see your spread. Hold on, wrong deck. Wrong deck. All right, what's going on with Leo when it comes to love? What's going on with Leo when it comes to love? What does Leo need to know? Okay, rejecting, <laughs> you're rejecting this person's offer. The manipulative one. Sorry, there is loud vehicles going by. Yeah, you are done fighting with that person from your past. Could be dealing with a Libra. We've got Aries, Pisces, Cancer, and Virgo, and Gemini. And the two are cups again. So, you know, there is, you either met your soulmate already or this person's coming in. If you're single right now, they're coming in. Like, I'm seeing it. The word soulmate is here twice. Two of cups showed up twice for you. So, I'm seeing that you're definitely ending, or walking away from, from Mr. or Mrs. Manipulative over there. You may have started to realize the truth. You may have seen, you know, through them and realize that they're not good for you. There's someone you're seeing as being in the hermit mode. I don't know if it's this person from the past or if it's the current soulmate or soon to be soulmate. Um, we have the Empress, the Emperor in reverse as well. So, wow, there is someone who's really, really attracted to you. I'm having a hard time pinpointing who is showing up over here. <clears throat> Hold on. Purify the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Purify, okay. Still not sure who this person is, but they, there's someone who's very much attracted to you. Maybe you know who this is. But this person seems to be very attracted to you. With the Empress, their feelings for you are growing. So it could be the new or current person that you are actually interested in. Why the Empress? Okay. <laughs> we both got the moon in reverse here. Why does Leo have the moon in reverse? Okay. This is so complicated because it's looking like, to me, it's looking like I've seen more than one story. So some of you, this moon in reverse can see, can, can speak of you seeing who your true soulmate is, like it being revealed to you. Maybe it's, maybe it's been someone you've known all along, but for others of you, I'm seeing that this person from your past is still attracted to you, or still trying to get back with you. The more you reject them, the more you reject this person, the more they feel like you guys have unfinished business and that you're soulmates. So you might have this person on your case for a while, kind of not getting the point. But there could also be this whole situation where you and your actual soulmates are finally realizing looking at each other and realizing that the feeling is mutual, that it's meant to be. We have the Hierophant in the center. This is a commitment card, a marriage card. So it could be someone you're getting married to. But what's blocking is this Ten of Swords. Someone who feels like this relationship isn't over. I feel like it's that one that you're trying to let go of. They don't believe that it's over between you guys. They're still trying to get to you but i'm seeing that a lot of you are just done with that person why the hermit you see like 
You guys are mirroring each other. You both have the emperor in reverse, moon in reverse. What is going on here? What is going on here? What is happening? Why the emperor? Why is this person seeing Leo as the emperor? I've never been so confused in a reading in my life. Okay, Hermits again. Sagittarius energy. This could be that same person over here, manipula manipulative person, because both of you, both of you are seeing each other as out of control. So this looks like two people who are looking at, looking at each other as the bad one. So they're seeing you as not being in control. Five of Wands. You're seeing them the same way. You're seeing them as closed off, but also it's almost like you're both seeing each other as toxic. You and you and this person who you're letting go of both of yours they're seeing you as toxic they're seeing you as just as toxic as you're seeing them you know i mean <laughs> so i mean that happens when two people are like done with each other they're both gonna call each other toxic you're the toxic one no you're the toxic one this and that blaming each other that's what this looks like to me so this looks like you yeah just conflict and this is this is why you're letting this person go i definitely i'm definitely sure that a lot of you are letting that person go and the good thing is i'm seeing a show a soulmate show up so it's like you're good anyways why the lovers is the outcome okay wow look at that the, the one you've been waiting for oh my gosh Coming out of conflict, done with the drama. And then lovers, clarified by the Knight of Cups. This is someone who's coming into your life. So thank God. Because the Ace of Swords is about a new beginning after a really rough time. So I see that you're putting an old situation to, to an end. Once and for all. And finally, the right person comes in. Okay. There is... Pisces and Cancer very strongly. There's Virgo very strongly. There's Aries strong. Gemini strong. Libra. All of these signs that I mentioned came out twice or are still on the table twice. So there's very strong energy with the signs I just mentioned. But for the most part, you are coming out of the drama of this situation and going into that connection with your soulmates. So it's it's a relief and it's just so it's all up to divine timing. I'm being drawn to this card right now. It's all happening in the right time. What's the advice for Leo? Your commitment is being tested. How committed are you to a new start? We have worked through your fears, Scorpio energy. Some of you your hard work is paying off Capricorn energy. Don't let pride get in your way. Leo energy. You know what though? Mm. Some of you might be letting go of that person, but others of you, and this is I feel like there's a small amount of you, are still working at it with them. And this is why it's mirroring. The reason why is because this card, your commitment is being tested. So I feel like most of you are moving on to a soulmate and done with this person. But there's a few of you who are still uh, working at this relationship with this person, the unfinished business. And I feel like that's mostly if, and I'm going to say it, that's because you're watching this probably in your room or whatever by yourself, hopefully with headphones on. So nobody's going to hear the truth. And this is not for every Leo, but there are some Leos out there, someone who is playing this game back and forth with this person. I feel like that's the type of person that is going to continue this relationship with this person um, because it's either you've been together a long time and it's like, you know this game or you love this game and you're just willing to play it because the way how these cards are just mirroring each other even just both in reverse 
these two in reverse, same position. These two in reverse, same position. Some of you Leos are playing this game with this person and it's gonna continue till you e to the point where you even make up because maybe you are soulmates with that person if you are both just, if you're both just rough houses and that's just how your relationship is. <laughs> I see you guys making it work. But for the majority of Leos, I see you moving on to a soulmate. I see you ending it with, with someone who, that, that's if you're just not into the game. Some people are into the game. You know, for example, because what I'm seeing in my head is um, Rihanna, who they say I sound like, and I don't. Rihanna and Eminem's song, um, Love the Way You Lie. So yeah, there's people out there who, who are into this, you know, rough house relationship. I know most of you are done with it, but there's some people, someone's watching and they know who they are and they're playing this game with this person. That's why the cards are mirroring each other. So what's the advice for Leo? Big happy changes. You are ready. Abundant, helpful people. Okay. There could be definitely change in your career. I feel like this links back to what I said earlier about your career when you just work hard. You just accept that right now is work time and then when it comes to the holidays, you finally take a break and you have all this money that you made because you worked so hard. So that abundance is coming in for you for the holidays. Get big happy changes for those of you who manifest that soulmate. And I guess for those of you who enjoy this person who is a rough house and you're definitely ready for change. A lot of you Leos are ready for change. You may have assistance. I feel like this is more to do with work, like a project or people wanting to help you or, you know, there's helpful people around you. But I'm being drawn to don't let, don't let your pride get in the way. So you being a Leo and this is a Leo card, you might have a hard time accepting people's help this is saying don't don't let it get in the way accept the help so that your business or whatever you're doing can really prosper and your hard work is paying off you see abundance so maybe you're working really hard right now but i feel like you need to know that the good thing is that it's gonna pay off you're gonna have a really happy you're gonna have happy holidays as long as you keep working and just accept that right now is work time <laughs> okay so Leo, this is, this is, I mean, oh my gosh, there's two stories here. Some of you, some of you are into this. Some of you are done with it. That's what, that's all I can say. If you're done with it, I see a more peaceful soulmate type of relationship coming in, but some of you are just some of you are like okay this is my soulmate it's really rough but this is my soulmate this is i'm gonna stick by this person i get it i understand but a lot of you are done there's good news for each side anyway so leo this is what i'm seeing for you oh and with the emperor being here aries and leo connection i mean it can be rough, but that is a soulmate. Um, Leo and Aries do have some real soulmate compatibility. So maybe some of you are dealing with the Aries and you don't want to let go of your Aries because you guys are like this when it's good. But anywho, feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. Like if you enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.